Let me see what she's all about. An alchemist filled with the curiosity about all things. She researches bio alchemy. Oh my goodness. She's got like beakers. Yes, this girl looks sweet. Sucrose. Um, but she's also wind, it looks like, unfortunately, which kind of is the same as my main character. But that's okay. All right, cool. Well, we got a bunch of new stuff. And we got extra 135 masterless stardust. What does this do again? Currency used to purchase rare resources from the shop. Surplus stardust of destiny. Perhaps it can create new destinies when in large enough quantities. Sure, perhaps it can. Um, okay. Well, that was interesting. Um, I can't quite get Deluc or Jean because I don't have enough. I could try to buy a pack and see if I got lucky, but um, I don't know if I need to do that right now. Oh, okay. Puppet, I'm sorry about that with Twitch. I don't know what's going on. Wow. All right. So, how can I adjust my party? Um, characters. Wow. So, I have all of these people that I can, like, switch around between. Hmm. Interesting. Who do I want to use? This is really hard to, like, make this decision of who I want to have in my party. Well, I guess you could just switch them on the fly. Maybe not. Party setup. Here you go. Reading party info. All right. I'm going to have... Um... I want to try out some of these other people. I'm going to see what she does. I'm just going to see what her abilities look like. Maid, main character, edgy boy, and no one else. <laughs> just three, three group. I want to see what um, Sucrose's abilities look like. Oh, Lisa? Gotcha. Yeah, I should have Lisa. What is... Okay, so she's got a book, too. So she's like a magic user also. Ooh, here's one. Look, right here. We got Namunculus. And Namunculus. Delightful. Let me see if we can take these guys down. I like it. Yeah, I like I love how her attack just knocks people back. It's pretty sweet, and she has no um, power ups. She's doing her alchemy. She's got a little like sailor hat on. She looks good, ready to go. Hmm. Lots to think about. All right, everybody, I'm back. Oh, Teladaga, I didn't see your little joke there. That's hilarious. She is named after Sugar, isn't she? She is sweet. All right, let me see if I can give her... Speaking of sweet, let's give her some stuff. Let's give her some artifacts. Let's help make her... The best she can be. Elemental Mastery? Sure. Adventurer's Goblet? Sure. Um, it's all kind of a hodgepodge. She's not getting any set bonuses at all. But to be honest, that's totally fine. 
Let's go ahead and check out her weapon situation. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is pretty interesting. Legacy as a boost or um, energy shower. Each elemental orb or particle collected restores 1% HP. Um, I'll try this one just because I like the energy recharge boost. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Oops. Um, I, yeah, let's level you up as much as we can anyway. Oh, whoa. These things are insane for leveling people up. Um, yeah, let's level you up to level 18. What does this take? All my money? Okay, that's quite bad. Let's just level you up to uh, <laughs> level 11 then. There we go. Level 12, I should say. Um, that's better. All right, now... Beaker girl. Let's see how we do over here. Uh-oh, too far away. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's see if there's a charge on your R2 ability. Nah, it just uses. But it, it's really, really fast to use. She's taking them down. All right, I need to go to the Statue of the Seven and turn in all of these uh, homunculi that I got. So let me kind of... I, it's down there. So let's just glide off, shall we? Yeah. Let's get ourselves over to this and turn in these two. I think I have two animunculi. All right, let's see what you got, Statue of the Seven. I'm going to offer this to you. Worship the statue. Um, mm, I won't get any boost because it looks like I have to have four animunculus to get there. But to be honest, um, I'm doing it anyway. Four K stuff looks really weird. Yeah, it blew my mind when I first saw it. You can climb the big tree for some sightseeing. Good idea. I will. Um, all right, let's climb this big tree. Oh, there's an amunculi up there. Maybe that was a subtle clue from you, Talladega. But I appreciate that suggestion because it looks like there's one up there. I see it. We're doing some shimmy work. We're shimmying. Let's get it. Yes. Oh, there's a little bit of a weird graphical... I guess I'm in the trees, so that's why there's this... I'm in the leaves, I should say. So that's why it's kind of odd to see through. But maybe I can spot some other homunculi in this fashion. Yeah, I, I w I'm with you, Puppet. I didn't think that it would be a noticeable jump up, but it certainly is. Let's see if there's anything back by this waterfall. Wow, look at these herons. Hello. 
crane things. How are you? Ooh, there's a treasure chest. That's what there is. Huh. That thing died faster than I thought it would. We're going up here. Enhancement or Animo Sigil. Sweet. I'll take it. I'll take everything that you can give me. Nice. Nice swim. All right. Let's see. I'm on the lookout. Well, I know one thing I need to do, which is uh, go over and get this teleporter. Because I haven't activated it yet. Uh, so I will do that at some point. And just attempt to find... Um, all of the animunculi that I can. Hey, um, I am rank... Seven. So the complete big time. I, <laughs> I'm really new to the game. I'm only rank seven. Um, I just finished the dungeons. I need to go back and talk to the Knights of Flavonius at some point here. Um, but I'm kind of just exploring and looking for one last animunculi before I head back. Hey, Corey, thanks for the follow. All right. Sucralose is going to do a little bit of hang gliding action and attach to the face of this rock. Can you imagine hang gliding and then hitting a sheer rock wall and holding on? I mean, she's really talented. I see one. I see one. Look at this. Happy day. I found it. Ding. Got it. Great. Um, so let's get back to that statue of the seven. Sedasan, how's it going? Um, I will probably be playing... Um, well, not probably. I will definitely be playing uh, RuneScape on stream next week I did two streams yesterday and um, the VODs are up on YouTube and I'll be posting uh, a RuneScape video every day um, but you think Sucrose is bad Corey? I like her um, but I'm, I just got her, so, you know, I'm, I'm biased because I just pulled her out of a pack. But I like that her attack knocks people back. She's probably, she could be garbage compared to the rest of the people I have. But um, she's kind of fun. She's got spectacles. I should probably put Lisa in my party, though, instead. All right. Statue of the Seven. Worship it. Offer all of them. Got our max stamina up. Taking care of business. Um, all right, we're going to leave. And we got some Primo gems, 
some sigils. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like her. It's probably overkill because, you know, to have two wind characters. I just love that her attack knocks the enemies back like that. I've always loved that in games when you can buy yourself some breathing room. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, she is badass. Thank you. I was like, oh man, I thought she was kind of good. Exploration knowledge. Myster mysterious Seely. Mysterious beings called Seely can be found scattered all across Teyvat. If you follow them and help them get to their final destination, perhaps something special might happen. Oh, okay. I'll help you. Where'd you go? I'm going to help you get to your destination. This is like those foxes in... Um... Oh, look at that. Oh, I saw another one of these broken pedestals earlier. So that's what these are for. Okay. Whoa. Man, we got a bunch of good stuff. So with all of the extra equipment that I have, like all of the extra weapons and things like that, you just use those for enhancing the weapons that you have, or you could, or can you sell those at the shop? Is that all they're for? Not that that's a bad thing. Just curious. Okay. Thanks, Talladega. Just for enhancement. That, that makes sense. Now, I don't... I haven't encountered it yet, but is there an inventory cap in this game? Or can you have unlimited items? Is there, like, a backpack size? If there is, I haven't hit it yet, and I'm, like, super pumped about that, because... I'm not really huge on backpack management stuff. Boom. Look at that death butterfly that I just made. They have no chance against it. Take him down. This ruined wagon had a bunch of good stuff in it. Love it. I love it. Um, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go into the character screen. And give her some other artifacts. So, uh... Okay, Teladaga. Well, to be honest, it's fine that there's a limit as long as it's humongous. So, that's that's totally cool. Let's see, so she has on nothing, um, and I can give her this Adventurer's Bandana, and she'll get the two-piece bonus of a thousand extra hit points, which is insane. So let's go ahead and equip this for you, and then, um, whoa, yeah, you get, let's give her you the really, really good Adventurer's Tail Feather to give her the big attack bonus, and then... Yeah, she is. She's cool. She's a scientist. I like that. Um, let's go back and then let me uh, level her up as much. Let's give her some more levels. There we go. And then um, let's see if I can enhance your weapon. You know what, Puppet? I haven't tried RimWorld yet. It's on my wish list. I keep waiting for it to go on sale. It does look really, really cool, though. It seems kind of like a um, like a sci-fi dwarf fortress, or am I not thinking of the right game? I know I've been looking at that, though. It looks cool. I can bring her weapon all the way up to 
um, being double its attack. So let's do that. Isn't that sad? It's never going to go on sale. Like, fact, yeah, because it's so popular. That's too bad. I almost bought it in early access, but I didn't. And now I'm kind of regretting it. Good morning. See, she's so nice. She's just like, good morning. That's awesome. I really want to try it. I have a buddy, a uh, real life buddy, who's been playing it um, and enjoys it. Look at this. It's like a chipmunk boar. It's coming at me. Oh, there's houses over here. What is this? Hello? Is there anyone here? Oh, yeah, there's some people chilling out over here. What's going on? Oh, this is like the Hunters Association. Hi, if you're looking for a hunting partner, you'd be better off picking someone else. Um, who are you? Oh, I'm Alan. I'm a hunter in the making. I'm trying my best to learn the tricks of the trade from Draff. Could you tell us about hunting techniques? Draff is very experienced, and he's taught me a lot, like how to read the wind direction to prevent our prey from catching our scent. He could even tell at a glance that the bow I had been using was no longer suited to my current skills. He then crafted a new one for me with his own hands. Thanks for chatting with me. Allow me to give you my old bow, since I no longer use it. Oh. Well, thank you. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a huntsman. Ah, uh, Teladaga, you're right. I should. I killed a squirrel once. Hunters, hold on. But yes, I do need to uh, get my food supplies in control. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, look at that. He reacted because I accidentally used my magic. He was like, don't do that. Traveler, what do you want? Um, Could you sell me some game you hunted? Who are you? I'm Draft. You can think of me as the head of the hunters, the best hunter in the town. Most of the meat from our hunts goes straight to the Good Hunter, a restaurant in the city. If you're here to make a bulk order of meat, I'm afraid we don't have the capacity to take it on. All right. Well, that's a shame. I was going to order the bulk order. Ooh, look, there's two busted statues here. I wonder if there's any of those sealies around. I'm looking for them. Hopkins the Marvelous? Who are, what do you mean, Hopkins the Marvelous? You! Yes! Traveler, do you ever find yourself frustrated because of your lack of strength? Have you wondered what it would be like to have power beyond your wildest dreams? Yes. Um, how do I become more powerful? See this holy water I have here? Drink just one bottle and you'll feel rejuvenated and more powerful than you could have ever imagined. Guaranteed. It might take a while for the efforts to kick in, though. Um... I'll buy one from you. A bottle of clear, colorless, and... Um, I know, it's a snake oil salesman. Contaminant-free liquid, indistinguishable from ordinary spring water. Hmm. May or may not be worth putting all of one's hopes into. I like how it's may or may not. It clearly is not, but I'll take it. It's a three-star item for 300 I'll buy that. Maybe it's a in brilliant cooking ingredient. Hello, Marla. How are you doing? A lovely day to sit on the bench. Oh, you're sleepy. Hello, what do you want? Um, you look sleepy. Yeah, I feel like I'm about to fall asleep any second. So if you got something to say, tell me quick. Um, why are you so exhausted? Hmm, well, it's because I can only meet with my lover at night. Whoa, TMI. The other reason is that I've been reading the Boar Princess series lately. I just finished the grand finale. The ending is a bit strange, but it's so wonderful that the Boar Princess and the Wolf Pup could be together. Have you read it? If you haven't, please do, and please help me return it to the library when you finished it. Thanks. 
All right, got a little library book here. Thanks for that. Investigate. There's a radish in there. I found it. The radish of my dreams. Mm-hmm. You got that right, puppet. I'm going to get that going. It's going to be an hour-long video of me just reading the books in this game. It's going to be a huge hit. I'm going to call it Internet Sensation. Whoa, that aerial attack was awesome. So I just jumped and did my attack down there. Man. That was, uh, that was pretty strong. Alright, I'm gonna go into the town and tr change a bunch of this ore into upgrade items. Man, look at the wind streaking by her as she sprints. That's pretty awesome. I thought those flowers were um, something else for a moment. I was like, oh my goodness, I have found it. It's free and homunculi, but it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. That's okay. All right, blacksmith. Yeah, you can. Um, I'd like something made. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Obtain. Two. And then... Um, I would like to forge enhancement ore. As much as you can make, please. I know, everyone wants to eat Paimon. I feel so bad for her. Wow, these make really quickly. That's fun. Alright. So. My strength still fails me. Yep, Ori, I'm with you. It is lunchtime. Enjoy yourself. Have a good lunch. She's relaxing. Just willingly sacrificing herself to the cooking pot. That's a shame. Poor Paimon. Um, let's go ahead and... Check out somebody else. Um, let me look at... Oh, there's an artifact for you? What can we give you? Great. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Puppet. Yep. If anyone's interested, the Discord is a great way to uh, check the stream schedule and chat about games. Understand when videos are coming out and get announcements. Perfect. All right, everybody. Well, um, on Ori's note and Puppet's note, Teladaga, Puppet, Ori, everyone, thank you so much for stopping in for this stream of Genshin Impact. I, too, am going to eat some lunch. I want to thank you all. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Puppet, I hope you enjoy your new TV and I will see you all soon. Tomorrow, um, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern, I will be streaming uh, Slime Rancher. If you want to come by and, and see how my, my ranch is going with the slimes. I can't wait to play more of this game as well. And I thank you all for your tips and advice. Yep, see you, Puppet. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.